Hey guys, welcome back to Avoria, the spaceship building, galaxy exploring, guns pew pewing game of excitement and wonder. My name is Twitchy, and last time we went around and made ourselves a brand new set of turrets. Oh my gosh, these things are amazing. Please tell me I've got it on here. Yeah, on the ambassador, in fact, we have. This nanonite weapon here does nearly 5,000 damages per second. I've also made ourselves some of these double Tesla tu turrets here doing nearly 4,000 damage per second. And I've gone through and made this craft much, much better. You might notice that we are missing one of our diplomat, cl diplomat class craft. Ooh, it turns out that was a tongue twister that I was not expecting. That's because after last episode, I was like, great, I've got new weaponry and I am fed up of recording these little segments. So I'm going to go around and uh, just take out a few of these guys here. Uh, I think it might have been this one it might have been that one uh, there was definitely uh, somewhere that just absolutely destroyed half my fleet so rather than bring them all back and be underpowered I thought it'd probably be a good idea hang on let's uh, turn these guys to attack mode uh, to uh, wait until I had weapons to actually be able to bring the ships back and as you can see this vessel that I now have possess is absolutely remarkable the f oh man just look at that the turning ships to dust in seconds absolute seconds and so because of that I only have two of my my vessels up and running the third one will be coming back I just we need we need better weapons we need better weapons so I'm going around I'm looking at turret factories and I'm seeing if we can't find better weapons to go and make but in the meantime in the meantime of doing exactly that thing I need to make more friends it's a problem that's been with me pretty much my entire life I, uh, I t tend to make a small group of very close friends and as you can see I've got these down here and those up there but we've been in these guys for a little while now who are they the obu organization uh, and as you can see we are now currently excellent with them but it's not fully excellent no 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 if we come over here it, it's a little way off little way off so i'm going to go around uh, through some of these hidden sectors all the way down at the very barrier to the center core here this is it's, it's weak enough out here that i can deal with it uh, and i'm going to explore all of these and hopefully have these guys up high enough that i will meet you in the headquarters hang about there it is over there uh in the next section so it's been going well we started here we've gone around we've done a few We've improved the reputation somewhat. If we come up to here, you can see we're nearly topping out. But whilst looking through here, I did notice that we are good friends, but not allies with the Universal Kingdom of Agoth. Uh, this is something that we can fix relatively quickly because I've got the Grand... No, that's big jumps. Where, where's the Grand? Is it? Hold, hold on, big map. I need to find stuff. There's the grandest entrance. Uh, we can switch to crafting sector over here. We can dock up to their HQ and uh, start a different... Uh, start a bit of diplomacy. This, this is new. Let's let's uh, let's get a little bit of an allied thing on the go. Let's negotiate an alliance. Yes, indeed. Now, one of the things that we've been building up, you can see, they require a, a little bit of money. I have got ooh, to, uh, a, a lot of oh, nearly two and a half million ognite. I'm gonna offer them half a million ognite. Look at that, sixteen million. That just that just is like way over. In fact, that is way over. Let's bring it down. quarter of a million ognite. Ha a double what they want. Bam! Make, make me your ally. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, whilst we're here, there was a new question here. Will you assist in destroying the Zotan wormhole guard? You're our ally. You can count on our defense. Ah, beautiful. Awesome. Okay, uh, we were we were actually trying to be friends with someone else, though. It, it's good to have a new green bit on the map, and there is a nice little green corridor. Maybe, maybe we need to come back here and kill a few pirates, make some friends. We, we could have a corridor of allies all the way to the center if we so chose. If we so chose. In the meantime, we're going to carry on salvaging our wares from the battle and uh, moving on to the next place where we can fight ideally pirates because that's what gives us the, uh, the the gaining reputation. But, you know, we'll take Zotan for the Zotan technology fragments as well. Just a few pirate fights later, we find ourselves at the top edge of the relations scheme. And uh, with my diplomatic powers, we can go ahead and just connect straight away. Uh, first off, diplomacy. Hey, my friend, can we negotiate an alliance? Uh, you want uh, quite a a lot of money. A large group of alien ships have appeared. Hold, hold up, hold up. We we can help with this. If I just kind of grab, try this again. Grab all these guys. We go attack enemies. Look at them. Where where are they? Where are they? Over that way. Oh no, I can't. I can't fire in that direction. We'll just fire off randomly in that direction. They'll all turn red, and you can watch my fleet head off. That's great. That's that's awesome. It's you know we're we're friendly. Hey, how you doing? We we want to be friends. Do you want to be friends? 
quarter of a million Ognite, not quite double uh, as we did with the other guys, but you know, it's, it's up there, it's up there, yeah, they're, uh, they're about it, uh, that's great, that's great. There's one other thing I want to do whilst we're here, <laughs> I'm just going to lo let those guys deal with it. It's kind of handy them accepting materials for the negotiations because after every combat that my fleet are involved in, I go ahead and select them and go, hey, can you salvage? And it turns out that Ognite is the material that of choice for armor out this deep. So we've been getting absolute metric butt tons of it. Anyway, I'm here at the research station because I've got a whole bunch of stuff I want to do. I really wish we could like make this grid, this box a bit bigger. No, I've tried, I've tried clicking corners and stuff. It's not, oh, not gonna work and I just shot them. My brand new allies. Oh. Anyway, at some point I'm going to go through and I'm going to do the boring job of going through and upgrading all this stuff, dealing with the weapons and such forth. But the reason that I have brought you along with me is because we've got a whole bunch of these right now. We've been uh, getting, uh, collecting these Zotan technology fragments for a while. You get them... Let me... Uh, I'm going to let you guess. Yeah, that's right, from the Zotan. We need them for a quest. The, re the resistance stations out there. Let's come in and have a look over here in the missions. Getting technical. Collecting resources. Research the Zotan technology to use against the Wormhole Guardian. Uh, that wasn't very explanatory, was it? There, out there are... Uh, out there you find resistance outposts. And we did find them a couple of episodes ago. And they were like, hey, could you help us with the technology? And we're like, yeah, cool, cool, no worries. We'll knock through that in no time. Turns out, took a lot longer than we thought it would do. But this is the first time that I've had enough together to actually research this up to the, uh, the orange exotic. And I, I, I wanted you to be here. Yay, thank you for joining me in this celebration, guys. I mean, three, three's a good number. Three's a good number. We just need two more. Two more, which um, equates to something like 25 down here. So two here. There's 10 here. There's 50 here. Okay, so 50 more. And, uh, just, a, just a small fraction, no worries. Oh, man, so when I thought 125 was wrong, it's 250. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's even more of a gargantuan mission than I thought it was. Wow. So I'm about to do a stream. It's a, it's a Tuesday today, and I would like to uh, go around and make friends with... I don't know, there's got to be another civilization over this way, or maybe these guys down here, so, something like this. I want to expand my fleet out. I want to get another couple of the uh, the diplomat class here, uh, give them a decent weaponry. That's kind of the important bit. Uh, go around, make, make good weapons, kit everybody out with absolutely amazing stuff, upgrade all my fighters, uh, and hopefully the, the next segment would be me just going, hey, we did more of the same that we've done in this episode. Because I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned this, but Avorian, it's, it's a long game. It's a very long game. I've already spent over 200 hours playing this game. It's it's pretty crazy. Oh, 197 hours, not, to, not, not quite 200. What's this button? Here, oh, override the galaxy's mod configuration with the current configurate. Really? I mean, nothing looks different. There's no, yeah, still no mods. Ah, that's a shame. Stream went well. We went all the way from this little group that we were with uh, beforehand, all the way up and around here. Turns out this is all empty space in between. There are a whole bunch of hidden sectors, but it was quite the journey to get through. When we turned up, all of this was purple. We went around, we beat up a lot, bunch of pirates, found some smugglers, blew up space stations, did a whole bunch of cool stuff, ignored the Zotan, and we're finally at the point where I'm like, hey! Hey, I'm at your diplomatic place. Can we please, can we please become very... Ah, oh, we're still not good enough friends. Oh, but I thought we were there. Best part of an hour later, going around and checking all these empty sectors. All I've managed to do is put my reputation up by 3,000. That is, that is, that's not enough. I think it's not enough. Uh, these guys over here, yeah, still, no. Mmm. I really wish we could just give them a gift. You know, be like, hey guys, could you just... Uh, be my friend. Well, I guess my plan is to sit in a slightly less populated sector for these guys. Slightly less populated so I don't end up randomly shooting them, saying, hey, could you just attack the enemies? And uh, I'm going to leave it for an hour. I'm just I'm just going to walk away, uh, maybe go hide in amongst that, that repair dock over there or something like that, whichever one I feel is the closest, and just let my ships defend this place. And hopefully, after an hour of playing music and leaving the game running in the background, I should have the reputation that I want. I just, I don't have time to keep 
this game running anymore. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, one thing that I forgot is going to happen. Look how close we are oh, money-wise here to 100 million. I want to trade some resources. I'm going to just give them 100,000 Ogdenite here. And I think that should... No, no, it didn't, lol. Oh, it's because I purchased, lol. <laughs> okay, let's sell a big number. So that's put us to 99, 100,000, 200,000. Bam, over 100 million. All right, I just I just wanted to share that with you guys because it was a big number and it's uh, one we've only reached for the first time today. Yeah. Well, it took a hot minute or two. We are definitely over the 200 hour mark on the save game now, but we have finally got to the point where, oh, I'm not looking at the right screen, where these guys are able to negotiate an alliance with me. I'm just going to go around and pick up a few things. We are currently kind of off in the middle of nowhere. Turns out this was the best place to be hanging out because there's two ships and not much else going on. Uh, so I could just chill here, kill, kill anything that turned up, and most of it added towards my total, which was good. My reputation total. I found the best situation to have was actually to have the craft and the lady over there set to salvage to go around and destroy all the wreckages that we've made, mostly grabbing the technology. For some reason, in a few places it didn't work. And then these three, I kind of, I jumped out into my mining drone here and set these three to attack any enemies that turned up in the system. Kept on making wreckages for these guys. It was just a bit of a perpetual system where I made myself some dinner. It was great. Whilst doing that, I wasn't idle just doing the, uh, the killing. No, no, no. I also went around to these three a turret factories here. Looks like I've left some pirates behind me. Tesla turret, Tesla turret and plasma turret. No, this one's the plasma turret. Uh, these were all three really good. You can see DPS per slot here. The, the two Tesla turrets were up at uh, slot three at uh, 3.6 DPSs. That, that's amazing. Uh, 3.6 thousand, sorry. Uh, this one is a single slot at 1.1 thousand that that's amazing and this is a three slot at 3.4 all of them over a thousand per slot that's amazing you can see this repair turret uh getting down to less than that uh this kind of a thousand per slot has been my my baseline where i've been aiming for but i want to bring up a little something with you you see this uh mark 14 and bit of a yin yang i don't want to put it on my ships because i keep forgetting to turn it off when it's taking out the shields now it's great against shields takes down all the shield damage uh but the, it repairs holes it repairs whole. So I end up having, um, a I end up fixing the things that I'm trying to destroy. And it's not great. Now, I don't want to just outright set it. I mean, it is two million in my back pocket, but that's, that's kind of not what I want to do. So before we head to the sector with the headquarters in it, we're going to go hit one of these fighter factory sectors first. Okay, so we're going to select the yin yang. Are we, can we do that? Oh, it's only 2,000 blocks. So we, we could either make it this form, this form. I don't, I don't like this one so much. It's a bit of a weird color. Uh, I might do this one with all the extra extra uh, spikes on it. Yeah, in fact, we're, we're going to go with this one. Beautiful. So those two together. Uh, I suppose the only thing I really want to do is make sure this only takes a one slot on here. It's as durable as we can possibly make it. Oh, this is getting expensive. Uh, and then, do we want maneuverability or speed? We'll just split them out between the two. Ooh. So it turns out that's very expensive. More money than I've got expensive. Turns out, like, the, uh, the, the turrets, they cost a lot. All right, let's, let's, let's stick a pin in that one. We'll be back for that. I, I like the idea, but it's, oh, it's so expensive. We're definitely going to need to set up a few more noble metal mines that just sit there and spew out profit at us that would be great so you know their their uh, products don't do anything else in any production chain okay they only want a six million that's all right here take quarter of a million ogdenite they love it they love it of course they love it everybody loves it all right that's great that's wonderful now i got something else to do that i found on stream whilst we were cruising around and doing everything that we were doing there making friends and a beautiful beautiful turrets we found this sector down here so i've got written come back on video on it i, I need to come back uh, I, 11 ships of v who are the V? Uh, I don't know, actually. I don't know. All I know is that the people watching the stream, the, the chat, if you will, oh, they were bloodthirsty. They were like, oh, you need to go do that right now. And I'm like, I can't. I, I can't. I gotta do it on video. And so here we are on video. Look at these. I don't know if I'm like supposed to do anything with them. We're just going to kind of flow up. But what, what's in the middle? We got a, an asteroid in the middle here. You can see we've got concentric rings. It might be a bit dark for you. It's kind of dark for me. But there is asteroids uh, in big circles here. We can possibly see it there's one there one here they're, they're almost like uh, orbitals you know you know the old bore 
um, model of an atom. It, it, it's, it's all that rings and orbitals and stuff. That's great. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set these guys up to attack enemies. Just just to watch my back. Just to watch my back. We're going to cruise up to the middle here. We're just going to see if they want to want to say anything, want to do anything. Uh, if, if we just leave them, they just stay here. I mean, are we going to be the aggressors? That, I, I suppose that's the next question. If they do nothing, am I going to be the guy that just shoots them? Maybe. 3.5 Omicron. Let's find the one with the most. They're all going to have the same, aren't they? Seven. Wow. 3.5's over here. Okay, so we've got a couple of sevens on the side. Maybe we want to take them out first. Is a 7.1. 3.5. Well, I, ge I guess. I guess. Given, given that we're here... I mean, they're all going to just attack me anyway, right? Oh, we're to defend. We'll do it. All right, cool. Uh, you are now at war with V. Okay, cool. Uh, are, we, are we good? Are we taking the damage well? It turns out we are, actually. These guys are just sat here not doing anything. Uh, I should probably have investigated that rock a little bit more. Oh, well, no. No bother now. No bother now. We're, we are at war. I, w I was told to just destroy them anyway, so I'm going to... I'm gonna blame, gonna blame my advisors if, if this is all wrong. This is actually pretty brutal. They're they're just sat there. They're just sat there. Oh, they are actually shooting at me. Okay, that that's fine. I feel I feel less like I'm just an aggressor doing uh, doing unspeakable carnage here. Um, though <laughs> they really are just kind of sat there, aren't they? They're just. They're not, they're not really defending themselves that much. I'm, I'm managing to take out many of them uh, per per moment. It's it's cool. It's cool. We're coming down to the last few now. My other ships seem to be doing the majority of the damage. I'm just blowing up wreckage, it turns out, that's between me and them. Uh, that one, and finally that one. Okay. Wow. Okay, so what was the point in that? Did we, did we get anything cool? I don't think we got anything cool. Wow, that just feels anticlimactic. Let's salvage. You ever feel like you approached the situation wrong? I kind of feel like I've approached the situation wrong. I'm going to be heading back to our southern holdings because I've got a few things to do over there. But first, before we go anywhere, I'm interested to know whether we can get this. Uh, we already told you we don't think it's a good idea. We won't risk our ships for some lunatic. Ah, oh, man, even when we become allies with you, you don't want to do it. Okay, fair enough. That's a thing. Also, I need to go uh, call by this trading post. Turns out I lied. It was the equipment dock I was after because you can buy all sorts of things from the equipment dock going from uh, upgrades and turrets and fighters and all sorts of stuff. But in the utility section, we get all sorts of things. And the one I'm after is this faction territory map. Let's buy that. Seven million. It's a, it's a bit of money, a bit of money. But now let's have a look and see. Is there any extra? Oh, wait, 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 wait. We need to use it first. Well, in fact, that's a good opportunity to see. Here we go. We got we got two clumps. We got two clubs. Are we going to be able to see any extra? Who knows? There it is. Let's use that. Beautiful, beautiful. And now if we open it up, we can see that we actually had all of their faction. Oh, no, is this them as well? Yeah, okay, so this is this is new. This is new. All right, that, that was... You know, I don't know if it was super worth it, but it was worth it. At some point, I'm going to be bringing my fleet back. We'll sit inside one of these barely populated areas. Maybe this one, three ships. Three ships might be a bit much. You know, we, we like to sit somewhere where there's only one ship. This one looks perfect, actually. Uh, and we will just wait for pirates to turn up and save the day and maybe do the same over here somewhere. Make ourselves two new sets of allies. Don't ask them if they'll attack the Wormhole gu uh, Guardian until we are ready to actually be their allies. Right now, I want to switch over to the Ambassador. As the Ambassador is sat in a sector with a research station here, there has been a, a thing that we've been doing for a little while now, a mission we have been on for some time. If we look inside here, you can see that I'm up to 26 more of this Zotan technology fragments. Now that should tell you that actually 25 of them are what I need to be able to make five of these next ones. These blue ones, of course, will then combine one, 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 one more, one more. I saw a four. Oh, no. All right, these five, these five uh, exceptionals will then combine together to make one more exotic. Now we at the beginning of the episode made four of these, made another five. Oh, that that's it. That's it. Mission accomplished. Getting technical. Let's have a look at this thing and see what it is. There it is over there. Wormhole power diverter. En energy consumption 250 megawatts. Let you harness the power of Zotan wormhole technology. Okay, a couple of jumps and a small edit later. I'm interested to see whether these, the Resistance Outposts, have anything to say about this piece. No, it, it turns out they do. It turns out they don't. They don't. 
Okay, this is the one. We haven't even the means nor the technology to research more Zotan artifacts. I see where this is going. Uh, if you find enough Zotan tunnel, yeah, okay. Unfortunately, unfortunately, once we have the interceptor, we can finally get out the reinforcements from the outside. Okay, sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Turns out I am just. No, I'm not going to do the mission again. Uh, I am the interceptor. They're just like, right, you, you are that person. Well done. So let's uh, let's try and figure out where we can put that. When we go into the actual fight, we will be taking this radar upgrade out. Obviously, to get there, we do need to keep hold of it. But with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time. Well, hopefully, we're going to start our trek in towards the center. The zero zero mark is over here somewhere. There's a bad guy sat right there. And look how close we can jump. I will see you next time where hopefully we're going to make our way there and not get destroyed by just the random encounters. I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye. What?